federal employees and their family, of course, are the ones directly impacted by this. There is a ripple effect for a lot more of us. You bet. Denver 7's Jason Grenauer is live at the Denver Federal Center to explain how mom and pop businesses are also suffering. Jason? Yes, and we're going to use this pizza to do a little bit of math here. Here at the Denver Federal Center, there are usually 6,000 employees. That's the entirety of this pie. Yet today, I got a statement from the feds saying that, quote, hundreds of employees are still at work and are not being furloughed. That's only equivalent to just one slice of cheese, and that leaves the rest of this pie at home, not at work, and not supporting the usual local businesses that they do right next door. We got the area's most eclectic Elvis-themed cafe. We've been here for 32 years. Just up the road from the Denver Federal Center. We do uh, breakfast and lunch is what we do. Is all shook up by the partial government shutdown. Yeah, about a month ago when the furlough came around, uh, we slowed way down. Thanks, Turning this normally busy spot of a lot of federal employee customers into Lonely Street. I'm doing probably maybe uh, tenth of what I was doing before. Owner Nick Andrelakis feels for those who are furloughed, saying they're customers and friends, but he's feeling the pinch too. There's a lot of eateries around here and they're all taking it, you know, taking a, a toll. It's for sure a, a problem and a concern. The same pinch is happening just down the street at Jose O'Shea's Mexican restaurant, just across the street from the Federal Center. We definitely see it. When they're closed, we have really slow lunches and happy hours. So. Now they're having to consider cutting staffing. We haven't yet, but that is uh, in the works for sure. If it keeps going, you know. It's a possibility. It's a possibility. How long do you want to let this shutdown last? Whatever it takes. With President Trump digging in his heels over the shutdown and border security. Steam it up a little bit. So these businesses are hoping for a little less conversation and a little more action. You know, they're having a hard time. We're having a hard time. You know, it's a, it's a ripple effect. It's a, you know, if there's something that could be done, I'd like to see it done. Now, one of the hard parts for these local businesses is that they say that money that is lost, that revenue is never going to be recouped because even after the government reopens, even if these federal workers decide to go back out to eat, they're not going to buy all the food they would have when the government was shut down. Now, there are some restaurants and businesses out there trying to help local federal workers during these furloughs. We have a list of those places and what they're willing to do on our website, thedenverchannel.com. Reporting live in Lakewood, I'm Jason Grenauer, Denver 7.